कॉन्टेस्टेंट नंबर फोर टोस्ट मास्टर श्याम टाइटल ऑफ द स्पीच ए वैलियंट अटेम एट रिफर टाइटल ऑफ द स्पीच ए वैलियंट अटेम एट रिफर कॉन्टेस्टेंट नंबर फोर टोस्ट मास्टर श्याम How many of you work? Majority, wonderful. How many of you feel that the education you received from your school or college has benefited you to become the thorough professional that you are today? A few. If so, what the majority think? Why did you pay so much for your education, <laughs> Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, panel of judges? and lovely children a warm good evening once again to all of you good evening i was on a vacation last year when a very eye opening incident happened to me i met my old friend ram from my school days and it was almost 28 years later that we were meeting he was hassled he was puzzled he was angry disheveled i met him and said hi he immediately recognized me and he was happy i asked him what happened he said he had been fired from seven jobs all his life he was useless and he was strongly feeling that the education that he received was the root cause of all his problems <laughs> what happened now he convinced me that yes because of that lack of education and those teachers that who taught me taught him i need a refund of the entire fees that i paid during my education <laughs> he took me along we decided to go the next day to meet the principal the same old principal mr sundara murthy was there and he was shocked when we put across this proposal as usual he had his cronies the same group of teachers the physics teacher the math teacher the history teacher and the geography teacher who ran ran the school in such a way to produce nonsense people <laughs> they were still there and he had a meeting with them to know what to do I was on the slide listening what they were planning. They planned to give an examination to him, <coughs> to Mr. Ram, and said, "We should ensure that he passes the exam. Come what may." Each took turns in taking the examination, and the first teacher who took the examination was the history teacher. All were sitting. The history teacher asked him, "How long did the thirty-year-old war last?" <laughs> He was about to say that. Then he stopped. He realized, yes, this is a game of chess. I have to lose here. <laughs> he said seven meters. <laughs> the history teacher was taken aback. Seven meters. Wonderful answer. <laughs> the physics teacher jumped in. Einstein, relativity, Planck, constant, mass, everything together. It can be put. It can be put in the same unit. Years become meters. You only fight for half the time. So, 15 meters now. You sleep in the afternoons. What happens? Some time is lost there on social work. You cut out eight meters. So, seven meters. Wonderful answer. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I passed. Principal is very happy now. Next comes the geography teacher. He comes and asks him, which city by the same name goes by the name Tiruvannamalai? <laughs> He says the answer is part of the question. Everyone gets shocked. Yes. What is the answer? The answer is same. <laughs> same. Wonderful answer. Again, okay. again, everyone is shocked. The geography teacher goes on to say there is a legend. The king, while traveling one day on the horse in Tiruvannamalai, he was riding on the road and he saw a small girl eating a bun. He just said, "May good come to you, little girl." What is the name of the city? she said first same to you and stopped because of the bun the king understood the name of the city is same and <laughs> the legend continues now it was a turn of the physics teacher see all these teachers had plans to make him <coughs> successful but they were starting to fail i was watching this in right earnest the physics teacher started off as you grow towards the clock tower does the clock become bigger or smaller and is it due to optical illusion 
My man said, my friend, he was really smart. He said, whenever I go towards the clock, it becomes smaller. And in order to become bigger, I walk away, but still it remains the same size. <laughs> the physics teacher said, please give me an answer. One answer. You are an ass. That is the answer. An ass. Wonderful answer. That's the correct answer. <laughs> you all look at the ass, it is not melancholy. And it's all because of this optical illusion that the ass looks sad. And because you are an ass, you are given the right answer. So wonderful, go ahead. You are passed with flying colors again. Finally came the turn of the mathematics teacher. He was a wizard. He used to always give two questions and started off again. I have two questions to you. One, a simple one. The other, a tough one. He started off with a simple question. If you denote the speed of light by x, and the distance of the star Sirius from the sun by y. What is the circumference of the 106-sided polyhedron which resembles the hip pocket of a railway employee? <laughs> the, the group was stunned. He said, 2,630 liters. <laughs> What's happening? Mass teacher said, you're wrong. You're missed by one liter. It's 2,629 liters. <laughs> you are failed. I'm so sorry. I think he's such a income poop that he requires his money to be refunded. All were aghast. Now here came the principal, and then he asked, my friend, tell me, what was the amount of money that needs to be refunded? Tell me right from the start. And he was so happy that he went on telling, one, two, third year, on fees, on books, on canteens, on uh, all the paraphernalia, it comes to 1,64,000 rupees sharp. Maths master was so happy. Wonderful, my friend. That was my most difficult question. And you have come out with flying colors. You are really passed. You are really passed. Now, the principal was also happy. Yeah, wonderful. What team spirit. Here they were. I was thinking that this is going to be a part of history. History in the making. But the school was sure that, yes, they will not lose finances. Because it is for sure that, yes, if this was one case, then many more cases would follow. <laughs> Hello, Toastmasters. We have to value our education system. Our teachers have always put us in the right stead, and this is where we all belong to. Mr. Kandis.